It's a theft that's plaguing drivers' pocketbooks. It is a big problem to, on this time right now. Catalytic converters continue to be stolen in Austin. Jorge Aguilar with Nikki's Muffler says the victims are anyone with a vehicle. They've seen them stolen from everything, such as church vans, car dealership vehicles, to cars that were just parked in neighborhoods. Uh, they say uh, they went to sleep, they, went, uh, they just get back from work or something, or they just wake up, turn out the car, and they just hear the noise, and they wonder what it is. Some people they already know, some people doesn't know. Without insurance, the theft can be costly, averaging a couple grand, and replacing them isn't as easy as it is to take them off. It has to be welded, yes, sir, because if you put clamps on it, you're going to have a leak. If you got a leak, the sensor is going to read it, and you're going to have to check any light on. The problem isn't happening just in Austin. It's across the state. Last month, thieves hit 10 city carts buses, and Houston reports nearly 2,000 catalytic converter thefts within the first two months of the year. I have with me a catalytic converter right here, and when these thieves take them off, they're not just getting them for their own car. They're actually wanting the precious metals inside. They want the platinum, the palladium, all found inside the filters. They're typically sold to scrapyards or recycle centers. To combat this, the state passed a law last year which required sellers to provide proof of ownership of the vehicle the converter was taken from, as well as requiring the buyer to keep a log of the sellers. Despite this, the thefts continue, and now Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is looking to take up the issue again during the 88th state ledge next year. He put out a statement saying, this crime is costly to motorists and can be very dangerous. While these crimes can be random thefts by petty thieves, this is now a big business organized crime operation. The issue has even led to the death of Harris County Deputy Darren Almendares earlier this month. He was off duty at the time and was killed while attempting to stop someone from stealing the catalytic converter from his vehicle.